Hi, today we're here at Meadowview Elementary School with Inetta Jackson. And Ms. Jackson is the gifted liaison, as well as the EIP math teachers for fourth and fifth grade. And also, she is uh, responsible for the fifth grade after school tutorial. And she's going to talk to us today about ABC's Mastering the Georgia fifth grade CRCT in mathematics. Inetta, you want to share with how you use the book in your class with your students? Yes, I'd love to. I, I love this book. This book. Um, I have, I teach gifted kids as well as EIP. Those are our early intervention kids. There are bubble kids. I call them the bubble kids because those are the kids that are like, you know, could go this way to not pass the RCT or go this way to pass the RCT. So, um, and I work with the fourth and fifth graders. Um, I love them. They're crazy. Uh, and so am I, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, we use this book. I use this book because everything in this book flows. It, it flows from beginning to end. We do a lot of work with numbers and operations, and it's all right there together. I don't have to look here to find this and look over here to find fractions and over there to get my decimals. It flows very, very well. So I, I really love this book. I also use this book um, especially in the beginning when I first get started with them and, and, and then we use it um, at least twice a week um, with the, um, I call it a list. I made my own list, it's a signal word. And they're right here in the book because when you talk about adding whole numbers, it gives you all this, oh, we're just adding. But I, I take these, the little words here, the total of nine and 104. Well, I take these words and I make my little signal list so that on the CRCT, when they're asking them word problems and they're using this increase by or decrease by, they, they know. So I just went through and made a list of the add, subtract, multiply, and divide so that my kids know. But um, I, I come in every day with something different. I, I'm a different teacher. Um, sometimes, you know, we will go and use... Um, um, multiplying fractions, um, and then I, they're right next to decimals, so I'm not jumping, you know. I don't have to wait for them to find from page two to page 200, so it's very, very convenient. Um, our school last year, I used this book, um, the last, um, what, four, five weeks or so, three weeks of, of before CRC testing, and um, our school scored 90%. Yay! Congratulations! Yay. So, um, and again, we're using it now. So this time we started early. So I really get to take it easy and really do what I want to do with it. Um, have a lot of fun with this book as well as my kids. I come into my classroom um, as different characters. One of my favorites and the kids' favorites is Medea. Uh, <laughs> um, I come in, we're, we're talking, we're doing, I'm like, do you understand that? And they don't want to say anything. I'm like, you understand? No one's saying. I'm like, hello? And they say, hello? So they answer you back the way you said it, which is really great. So um, I do my, when I teach my um, common and, and uncommon denominators for fraction, I tell them that the, when, when they're not common, that's Miss Jackson making Anthony Hamilton like her. So, <laughs> you know, I'm forcing him to you know, uh, to like me. So we get our like denominators. And like, oh, you like Anthony Hampton? Yes, I like Anthony Hampton. So I really have a lot of fun with this book. Um, I'm just a different kind of teacher, just different, that's all. <laughs>